Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we came here to Tuchanka, the Krogan homeworld, in search of two things. Finding out what's wrong with Grunt, and finding out what happened to a former scientific colleague of Morden who was kidnapped by the Blood Pack. This episode, we're going to be chasing up Morden's side of things. Let's start by, if we come up here, there's a big truck, and next to it, a mechanic. Let's talk to him. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah. I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. So that gives us a side quest. Find combustion manifold. I'm sure that's going to be relevant. Let's speak to the Chief Scout. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Salarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly, like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. So, lovely little custom loading screen. At this point, it's worth saying, well, it's too late at this point. If you haven't already got the Combustion Manifold quest, you need to have got it by this point, so sorry about that one. So, obviously we're forced to take Morden with us because it's his loyalty mission, but we'll stick and with Grunt anyway. 
powers wise, I got a level up. Is there anything that's worth going for here? Oh, I might level up cryo ammo a little bit. Or am, I, or am I waiting to get high level incinerate? What do we get for cryo ammo? Uh, longer freeze duration. Oh, uh, I'll go for it at this point, I guess. Why not? Actually, ah, uh, mm, mm, mm. yeah, fuck it. Weapons wise, I'm going to briefly ditch the arc projector and bring out our new heavy weapon, the cane. <laughs> So, for any reason you're not happy with the weapons you chose, there's a weapons locker there, and you can rejig them. Oh, and it's taken off my bloody ammo powers. You know what? I'm actually, and this is this is worth noting, I'm going to put uh, grunt on shotguns. I'm going to put cryo ammo onto everything. So, while you're on Tuchanka, almost nothing has shields. Everything either has nothing, or they have armor. The occasional freak has biotic barriers, but generally speaking... Shields aren't just, just aren't a thing with Krogan, and you'll pretty much be fighting Krogan or the wild beasts of Tuchanka, which obviously don't have shields, because that would be horrifying. Let's proceed. So this is the lovely blasted remains of Tuchanka and its terrifying son, Aralak. And I must say, the design is really cool. Oh my goodness, that's a Klixen. Ugly bastards, the clicks are. So, these are native to chunk and life forms. When they're about to die, they have a tendency of blowing up, so stand back from them. They're kind of like scarier. There we go. They're like freakier Varen in a lot of ways. I must say, I do quite like the look of Tuchanka of this kind of devastated world. Of Objibuchai! So as you can see, the Klixen is currently breathing fire on us, which is a whole heap of fun. Which means they're also somewhat resistant to fire attacks. So Incinerate is not your most useful power here, but it's one of very few options we have. Speaking of options, I've changed stuff around a little bit. I've actually, I've put, oh dear, I have put, oh bloody hell, I bloody killed that Varen. Freeze it, will you, Morden? Thank you. Um, I have put, please die. Is he dead? Yeah, there we go. I have now put, instead of AI, AI hacking on RB, I have put my new power flashbang grenade on there. Whoop! As you can see, it's just an instant blast when Kasumi uses it, because whenever AI use powers, they just, they go right there. But for us, we actually have to physically toss it as a grenade. The reason I've switched is because I had AI hacking on before, and there are pretty much no AI on Tuchanka either, so that's not really a problem. Turns out as well, in a mildly annoying turn of events, you actually can't... I can't find any way... Drop me a comment if it's possible, but I can't find a way of putting... of taking Infiltrator's Cloak off Y, so when I press Y, it will activate and always does. And it's not... As, as as you know, viewer, if you've watched the series so far, I don't use Infiltrator's Cloak a great deal, so it would be really happy to, handy to have, as my kind of like three um, powers have Incinerate, AI Hacking, and whatever my, um, oh bloody hell, and whatever my bonus powers at that time, which for now happens to be, oh my goodness, happens to be Flashbang Grenade. Oh, there's a Fucking Vorture right next to me in there. Not Vorture, Varen. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, called that. Ugh. So yeah, I guess it's because um, the... So Incinerate and AI Hacking are both powers that other, other members of your squad have, but every class has its one completely unique power. And for me, the completely unique power is Assassin's Cloak, so I guess it always puts that on a hotkey and you can't ever take it off. Uh, I can see why it does that, but it's still mildly annoying. Oh dear. Whoops, that was Flashbang Grenade. Well, 
Now, what's particularly effective was it? I meant to incinerate him because incinerate is really nice because it burns the armor and stops regeneration, which makes it very effective against basically everything on Tuchanka because everything here regenerates given enough time. Krogan regenerate. I don't think Varen regenerate. Oops, see Daisy speaking of Varen. Uh, Vorcha certainly regenerates, and we're facing mostly blood pack this this mission, so that's definitely an issue. Uh, let's burn through that and then burn again. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, the more I, I keep thinking about cryo ammo, the more I use it, the more I feel really bad for it because it's really dark, just like freezing someone and then like shattering them in that way. Oh, I haven't really spoken about the cane at this point. Um, oh, that's a pyro. Let's burn him. So pyros, if you use a fire or overload attack on them, they blow up rather than just dying, which is fairly cool. I think there's another one around the corner here. Indeed, there is not. I imagine that one. Wonderful. Now let's get that guy. I'm running really, rel relatively low on sniper rifle ammo. Um, so, the cane. You'll notice it's on 65 ammo, which is 65%. And with that, it actually can't fire. If I try and fire it, just a load of gas comes out the front, which is not great. The cane takes heavy weapon ammo to build it up, but it needs to be at 100% before it can be fired. Um, so currently we just literally have not got the heavy weapons ammo to fire it. It's a big ammo drinker. Um, using way more than any other heavy weapons ammo. There is a reason for that, which is because it is outrageously, stupidly, ridiculously powerful. And hopefully over the next couple of episodes, we'll get to take it for a spin. Just there, you'll notice I picked up a combustion manifold. So, you know, we'll deal with that later. And then, let's blow that up, because why not, and let's open this door. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. So that brings us inside the hospital, and there's a dead human body here. That body, human, need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles, track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was. No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys. Mutations. Adaptations. Far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Wouldn't something native to Tichanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes, human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native Tuchanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal, pineal glands. Modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. <sighs> Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though, genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. <sighs> Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High-level tests on Varen. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule. Never broke it. Come on. We still need to find Malin. Agreed. So that's interesting there. It gives you an interesting insight into Morden that... He doesn't say that using humans is unethical or anything like that. He just describes it as unnecessary that it's all about for him, it's about efficiency, it's about what gets the work done. And while saving lives is great, it's kind of, it's not his primary focus almost, which is quite revealing.
I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. If I flee, I might trip over the dozen Krogan I killed to get here. I think I'll take my chances. You killed our youngest and weakest human. They were not worthy of remaining near our glorious work. Inside, you will find only hardened, blood-packed veterans, tempered by savagery and war, and dedicated to one goal. The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Warlock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellions will become the Krogan Empire! You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target! The surviving races will frighten their children with tales of what the Blood Pact did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. If you lack the wisdom to flee, then you will be the first of billions to be crushed beneath our might. For Warlock Gold, attack! They've seen us. God, that really takes all of my, what's the word, patience, I suppose, to, and kind of self-restraint to not freaking use the renegade interrupt on the clan speaker there, because God, he just keeps on talking and talking shit and bragging and boasting, and you just, you just want to see him dead. And you really want to do that, that scene where you blow him up because it's so good. Um, but alas, no, I'm not doing so well. Let's hide behind this pillar. Okay, let's use Unity and heal us up. This can be a really tough clip because as you can see, you're suddenly thrown against four Krogan with not a great deal of cover. I'm able to, as ever, buy myself time because that's what my particular class build does. Nice Cryoblast Morton, Jesus. Morton, did I just call him? Morton, I meant to say. I don't know where Morton came from. Oh, there's the clan speaker. Well, let's try and kill him. Um, how? No, not good. So let's see how much sniper ammo have I got, and the answer is not a great deal. That was a complete miss. Can you burn him, Morton? Nope, you apparently can't. Oh, ball sack! Not this guy over you, thank you. Oh, there's a red shot incoming for me. That's not a happy colour. Let's go invisible. Didn't help! Or maybe it did. You know, it bought me seconds to, to move the fuck away, so I will take that one. Oh, there's a Krogan charging. Krogan charging. Charging Krogan! Or okay, I think. Is that... Oh, that's the only issue with using Grunt in Chuchanka. Sometimes you can't actually tell if he's friend or foe. Though he is white and all the other Krogans aren't, so... Right. There's a Vulture up here. Oh! And there's another Vulture up there. That didn't do as much as I'd hoped because it completely missed. Um, oh dear. Mordin, burn him. Thank you. No, not thank you, because you bloody missed. God, we are not doing well in this fight. Let's hide behind here. There we go. That was cool. They kind of dropped on us at the same time, but one on fire and one on ice. I assume the clan speaker's dead. Must have incinerated or shattered his body or something. Shame. Would have liked to really see him die, because he's a very, very annoying character. Can smell antiseptic, hint of dead flesh. Just get us there. Lovely. God, I can actually picture that smell. You know, that kind of like TCP antiseptic smells. 
Ugh, pretty grim. There's some circuit boards here, which uh, had an interesting moment there. Circuit boards! Circuit boards um, that we can access for some credits, plus some more iridium and a computer terminal. Console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains. Live tissue. Clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Martin. Not developing. Modifying. Much more difficult. Working within confines of existing genophage. A hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable. Could cause total sterility. Malignant tumors. Could even reduce effectiveness. Worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable. One in 1,000. Perfect target. Optimal growth. Like gardening. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes. Could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Ratni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No. Murdered no one. Altered fertility. Prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. What was it like working on the Genophage Modification Project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Sounds like you were pretty important. How'd you go from that to running a clinic on Omega? Wanted to heal people. Good use of last decade. Something easy, no ethical concerns. Understand rationale for modified genophage, right choice, still. Hard to sleep some nights. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morton? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. The effects on Tachanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes. Refused to negotiate. Turian defeat not complete. Krogan could have recovered. Attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage, us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved galaxy. Destroyed Rachni. Genophage not punishment. Simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. We're not going to find Malin staring at consoles. Come on. I must say... I find Morden a really well-written character, like... Whatever his kind of, like... He, he holds to his own principles, his thing of, like... I love the idea, by the way, of him killing someone with farming equipment. Really want to go into that backstory at some point, but unfortunately you're never given it. Um, but it's really interesting to see that, kind of... He is consistent in that way, that he's like, no, we didn't kill with medicine. Whatever we did, we may have caused them to be, in, like, lower and fertile uh, fertility rates or whatever, but we are not, kind of murderers um and it's interesting to see that while he's been able to justify the usage of the genophage like it had to be done it was it was the only way to stop the krogan from taking over everything he's still not okay with it like he did it and he's rationalized it to himself but he still finds it difficult to kind of deal with that decision on a personal level which is really interesting actually um and speaks quite a lot about him as a personal character Anyway, we're going to have to end it there because it's been a fairly long episode. So thank you very much for watching. And next episode, I hope you'll join me as we continue on with Morton Old Blood. Thank you very much and good day.